Uh, meanwhile, the story of America's most lethal sniper, Chris Kyle, has hit the big screen. Hello? Baby? Chris? Baby, I can't, baby, I can't hear you. Hello? I'm ready. Baby, what's happening? I'm ready. Baby? I'm ready to come home. Uh, American Sniper opens up everywhere tomorrow. Our next guest sat down with the cast of Chris uh, and Chris Kyle's widow, Taya Kyle. And that next guest is? That's right, Michael Tamaro. Hi, We're going to get morning. into the Fox light with him right now on good this. Morning, I mean, guys. I, I get so emotional just watching the just previews. Just watching that scene, I know, yes. right? Well, American Sniper is so much more than just a war movie. It's about the love, humanity, and struggles so many military families face. Chris Kyle saw the world through a rifle scope. But his story is now being told from the other side of the lens. He went to war to protect the good guys, but came back the most lethal sniper in American history. His story made for Hollywood. It was a <laughs> wonderful privilege and an honor, and I actually found that uh, tremendously gratifying. So I, I, I loved it. But it, it's very different um, because he was a real human being, and, and Tay is a real human, and uh, there's just a huge um, responsibility. Bradley Cooper stars as the sniper. But this movie is about so much more than war. It's about love and strength. And the thing that we try to focus on with this movie is the relationship between the two and how it's uh, not only the, the servicemen and women that are over there serving and going through this pretty, pretty trying dilemma of having to jostle between the two worlds. Sienna Miller plays Kyle's widow, Taya. She says the raw emotion of playing a real person made the role an intimidating one. When you're imagining what it would be like to be a woman raising two children, not knowing if your husband was going to survive every single day, the, and loving this woman as I do in real life, you know, the, the kind of empathy you feel for these people who are at home keeping the family together is so enormous that it's easy to, to get the emotion. Both Miller and Cooper say Taya's openness helped them evolve into the people they played. We were lucky that uh, Taya Kyle, Chris's wife, opened up their lives to us. She gave us all of her, their email exchanges for four tours in, in Iraq, which was just invaluable. Taya hopes the world sees her husband how she did, a humble family man who just happened to be the military's most lethal sniper. I guess one of the things that I, I take from it, and I hope, or that I took from Chris's life and his public life, was how beautiful a thing it is to just be who you are yeah. with all your flaws and all of your successes and let people judge you or do whatever they want to do but just be you and and it works out sadly hollywood could not have predicted the ending three years after leaving the navy evette kyle was trying to help with ptsd is accused of murdering him at a gun range but it's his life and legacy this movie aims to protect and honor and does such a great job of doing just that. It's one of the best movies I've seen in a very long time. Oscar nominations come out this morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, and fingers crossed that this movie gets the respect it deserves. And Bradley Cooper firing back at people who are critical of him. You're glorifying war, and you're doing all these same things that they came out with uh, Lone Survivor with. Yeah. And he's firing back. For him, this is very much a passion project. He did such a great job with it. To catch more of my interviews with the cast and Taya Kyle, check out Fox Business Network this weekend. And as always, for all my celebrity interviews, log on to inthefoxlight.com or follow me on Twitter and Instagram at FoxLightMichael. As we all do. You, you do? do? Yeah, right, Michael. I can't Thanks. wait to see more of those, Michael. Thank you. Thank you.